Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. And this one's going to be on The Hunt. This is from Universal Pictures, and it's directed by Craig Zobel. What this movie is about, it's about this group of people who all wake up at the same time in random little spots on this place. They don't even know where they are, and they realize they're being hunted, and the people hunting them are like this rich group of people and they want to take out these people for a reason that you find out later on in the movie but what the elite don't know is that crystal played by betty gilpin actually has a one-up on them because she knows the game better than they do movie came out in 2020 and uh you know right off the bat i like this movie i like these kind of movies um i like the the Hunger Games type or like Battle Royale kind of those kind of movies you know people just getting dropped into an area and not knowing what's gonna why they're there you know who's after them all that kind of stuff even the more recent movie called uh, the, the Furries or Furies I don't know how you say it um, they that's kind of like a situation but that's a whole other movie but uh, yeah these people just get dropped into this situation and right off the bat they're you know getting hunted and uh, there's a lot of familiar faces in this a lot of celebrities but just because you see a face like oh I really like that character or like oh they're gonna they're gonna make it to the end don't think that because anybody can get killed at any moment in time even right away so it's a big shock factor with that like wow I thought that person was gonna last a long time because it's so-and-so does not matter in this movie it does not matter in the slightest but uh, yeah Betty Gilpin uh, she played Crystal People know her from Glow. It has on the back here from Glow. I haven't watched Glow. I watched Glow back in the day, but I haven't watched the Netflix show. But I know her as the... Um, I can't remember her name, but she was the nurse on Nurse Jackie. And she was like that... You know, the nurse that basically slept with everybody, but she wasn't very good with her, at her job, like, at all. Incredibly, incredibly hot. Sexy woman. Um, and she plays a totally different character on her on here. Like totally different she's kind of like uh in a way like uh you know redneck ish in a way you know she she just seems like a person who has skills that they don't realize that she has these skills and you know you kind of figure this out like the first time you see her um everybody else is panicking and she's putting like a leaf in the water with like um well uh, like a a needle or something and you know for a compass so you know this girl knows what's up you know she knows how to, to survive and it, it's it's uh, a good movie it, it and then the whole thing with the um, the elitist the rich people their whole reasoning behind this um, it's not I don't know if I want to say it it's not really a spoiler but um, there's something that there's a reason they do this to the to this group of people and i don't want to say it because i don't want to ruin that for everybody you know it's kind of like a you know you find out in a movie but uh the area they're in uh you know are they they don't know where they are they just get dropped off um it's and and the cast of characters for the uh, like the rich people it's like they're not fighters they're not you know they don't know what they're doing except for like the main person which is hillary swank and um uh, she's like in charge of all this and you find that out right away you know right away but uh she's been training for months and everything so she's like the only one that actually um you know has some training and you know can probably do some damage and then when you find out more about the people that are getting dropped in you might not feel so bad for them that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna say why they're there i'm not gonna say you know their backgrounds or anything but you kind of don't feel so bad for them after a while um you know but Hey, it's like you kind of play both sides. You under you kind of like get not a comedic aspect to it because it's like there are not it's not jokey. I shouldn't say, but like there are some like maybe comical moments in it. You know, maybe like uh, slapstick. Not slap. I don't know. I can't really explain that. But like, I guess over exaggerated in a way. You know, um, you you get to see their side of the story, and 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 then you get to see. The other side and it like kind of like pokes fun at both sides of this so uh you know and it deals with more like recent things nowadays too uh how you can look at things um but yeah this it's very a very gory movie um very cool effects uh like this 
one girl falls into a pit of spikes and then like all of a sudden she gets blown up and half her body's in there uh you know guts hanging out and everything pretty cool people getting blown up shot with arrows you know shotguns and all. and and the only bad thing is is i feel like they take out a lot of people too quickly uh i would like to see more of them being hunted down um you know and get taken out in like more of a gorier way but um that's the whole point like to get the characters out of the way to get to the main story focus and you know find out more about what's going on you know behind the scenes like why this is happening to them and you know it, it was a it was a good movie uh there's like a talk about um the, the book animal farm in here that's all i'm gonna say uh and it kind of like a little bit deals with like uh greek mythology in a way um and that's all i'm gonna say about that too but yeah um the fight scene at the end is fantastic. Most of it was actually, you know, them fighting. Um, there wasn't much stunt double going on, stunt doubles in it. Uh, so that was pretty impressive in how much they trained. I'm not going to say who's fighting, but how much they train for the, the, the fight at the end and everything. And uh, decent ending, too. You know, I, I, uh, I enjoyed it. Um, but, yeah, the, the, the blood and the guts and the story, the fighting and all that, like... The celebrities in it uh you know it was it was a shocker to see like especially who the first one is to go it was incredibly shocking to me i was like oh my god really um but you know that, that's how it is but yeah i i really i really like this movie i would definitely watch this again uh a lot of, i think it has rewatchability and uh it really makes you think about things nowadays so now that i'm talking about that i'll show you you know more about this and what's in here uh you get a couple bonus features on here it's crafting the hunt and it's kind of like you know the making of it death scene breakdowns where they obviously break down each death scene and then there's athena versus crystal hunter or hunted and that's about the whole you know ending and everything very cool uh you know a lot of information and, and like i said they talked to Betty Gilpin, and like I've I've only seen her character in Nurse Nurse Betty, uh, and she's not or Nurse Jackie. I'm sorry, uh, she I've only seen her in that. So like she kind of has this like snobby kind of thing, and it's totally different character. Like she won me over as like a really really good actress. Not that I thought she was actually slutty or anything like in Nurse Jackie, but you know it was so convincing. It's like that's how I picture her, and then here it's like she's like. I was like, where do I know her from? Like, she didn't even look the same. They did, like, such a good job with her. And she did this, such an excellent job. Very likable character. And you, you don't know what's going on in her head. Is she nuts? Uh, why does she know all this stuff? You know, that kind of thing. Uh, but, yeah. The couple bonus features. And it's not much, but it's something. And I think it's it's very cool, too. And they, you know, they talk to, like, the director and that. And um, they explain more about the movie. Like, why it is what's going on and you know what their idea behind this was it's from uh blumhouse the producer of the purge yeah i could see that a little bit um the purge -ish in a way you know uh but then you take this off but I, before i do that this is kind of embossed so is this on the side again i like those little features like that that's embossed that was embossed and you got the back on there and then here you have like pretty much the same thing except it's not embossed and then you have a blu-ray and a dvd in here and uh you know it's it's i kind of wish there was something on the blu-ray and dvd instead or even orange discs would be cool it does also come with a digital code which i have used and so you know that's cool it's always cool to have the digital code even though um you know you never know with this too this might get pulled off the shelves one day because of everything being censored nowadays and i'm not against censorship or anything per se some things i think should but you know this being the way it is in this movie and being violent and stuff it might get pulled from the shelves especially with everything that's going on you know now in the world at the time i'm recording this you never know in fact they weren't sure if i wanted to review this right now because of everything that's going on and and you know i don't think people are going to take this seriously you know it's just a movie so there's that but yeah the digital code blu-ray dvd uh the movie looked really really good uh you know it sounded really good captions were good also the movie is about 
hour and a half long and it goes by pretty pretty smoothly I think you know you're always paying attention you're always you know watching the next part there's no boring down moments or anything because you know you don't know who to trust who's part of this you know because where they get dropped there's other things around you don't know what you know who to trust and every character that's in this is different but they're all the same if that makes any sense but yeah I definitely say check out the hunt I really enjoyed it uh, it was a good time I would watch it again and I'm glad I got to see it because when I saw the trailer for this first coming out I, I was like I want to see that movie I have to see it and then luckily enough Universal was nice enough to send me a copy to review and that has nothing to do with my review itself you know, everybody knows I'm very honest when it comes to my reviews I don't bash things but I am honest if I don't like it or I wouldn't watch it again and I would watch this again and I really did like it uh, so like I said if you're in like Hunger Game type situations or um, like I said Battle Royale kind of situations you know except they're not killing each other they're being hunted um, even like it's kind of in a way too except there's only one person like surviving the game with uh, uh, Ice T, um, and, and back in the day, with him, Gary Busey, and that, where he's being hunted. It's kind of like that, except there's like 11 or 12 people being hunted by a group of rich people. So that's kind of this, kind of the you know similarity to it. But yeah, definitely check this movie out. And if you do, let me know what you thought. If you have seen it already, let me know what you thought about it in the comment box below. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say, but thank you. Give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, follow me on any of the social media links in the description box below. If you're interested in this, I'll put a link below where you can go and purchase it. Also, I'll put a link below for the trailer, but like I always say, proceed with caution. The trailer might contain spoilers. Well, that's everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.